to find the locations of the local max or min of y equals cinch x minus 2e to the x, we'll need to take the derivative. So y prime should be equal to cosh x minus 2e to the x, because the derivative of cinch is cosh, and the derivative of 2e to the x is 2e to the x. So to find the local max and min, we need to figure out when this is undefined. Well, cosh of x is defined for all real values of x, as well as e to the x. So there's no places where it's undefined, but we'll figure out when it is equal to 0. Um, this is a little bit of a problem with cosh x and an e to the x, but we know that cosh x has a form uh, of e to the x plus e to the negative x over 2. And then we'll subtract the 2 e to the x equals 0. And we should be able to solve this equation for x fairly easily. We'll multiply both sides by 2. And then if we get the e to the negative x on one side by itself and the e to the positive x's on the other side, we'll end up with e to the negative x equals 3e to the x. And then uh, what we'll need to do next is multiply both sides of this by e to the x. And if we do that, we end up with, on the left-hand side, 1. And on the right-hand side, 3e to the x plus x, or 3e to the 2x. The left-hand side was e to the x plus negative x, which is e to the 0, so just 1. And we get 1 third equals e to the 2x. And take the natural log of both sides, gives us natural log of 1 third equals natural log of e to the 2x, or just 2x. Probably better to rewrite natural log of 1 third as natural log of 1 minus natural log of 3, so that we can get rid of the natural log of 1 part. Natural log of 1 is 0, and this is just negative natural log of 3. And when we divide by 2, we get x equals negative 1 half natural log of 3. So now we need to check if this is a max or a min or neither at this point. So for this, we'll make a sign chart, putting on negative 1 half ln 3. We'll have to test something to the left and something to the right of this value. So something that is to the right of negative 1 half ln 3 would be 0, because natural log of 3 is a positive number. And if we multiply it by a negative, that gives us a negative. So we'll test 0. Uh, we can test it in any form of our derivative. I think that. Maybe this one right here is an easier one to look at. So e to the 0 is 1 plus e to the 0, which is also 1, minus 4e to the 0, which is minus 4, gives us a negative 2. So on this side, we have a negative value, which means our function is decreasing. And then we'll have to check uh, something on the left-hand side of negative 1 half natural log of 3. Now, when these are combined together, we've got negative 3e to the x plus e to the negative x. And if we plug a, a negative, let's say, a negative 10 into this, that's a pretty straightforward number to plug in. We have negative 3e to the negative 10 plus e to the negative negative 10. Well, this is negative 3 over a relatively large number, e to the 10th power plus e to the 10th power, which is definitely a positive number. So this side, our function is increasing. And therefore, we have a local max at x equals negative 1 half the natural log of 3.